another feature that we added is support for authentication providers. So, as you have seen, there is a way of authenticate your request by providing certain headers. In this case, we're using the basic authentication. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use other types of authentication to, um, to authenticate your requests. So if I try to go back here and find my post request, all right, if I try to post this without the authentication, Oh, actually, let me go to the post for the article. Okay. If I try to post this without the authentication header, I should get an error. Ah. Okay, let's try again. This time, actually removing the authentication header. Keep adding it. Sorry. I'm gonna clear this and remove it. And this time, it should work. I just created two articles, but now, yes, I I get an an error, a forbidden error, um, saying that I don't have access. Um, Obviously, the error message needs to be more explicit, but uh, you get the idea. If you don't provide an authentication, it doesn't actually create the uh, the the article. Sorry. Um, so we've seen how you can authenticate using the basic auth that comes with Core, but you can also use other modules that provide authentication providers that give you authentication providers, like for instance. Uh, the simple auth module gives you a way to generate bearer tokens. So uh, if you scroll down, what you need to do is you need to pass in authorization and then bearer and then the token. To generate the token, you just need to go to the, uh, to the profile page for, for your user. So I'm user1 both two tokens, add a new token, you can just go ahead and save it, and it will give you this token, and I'm gonna use authorization bearer, then paste this, make sure that there's only one space, and if everything goes well, yes, it creates the, the article, because it's identifying user one based on this token. So we added su full support for authentication providers. So uh, go ahead and play with the one that you like.